In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Universal G-Code Sender onto a Raspberry Pi. So before I start the video, this is my CNC router I made for about $400. I would definitely check out the previous parts to this video if you haven't seen them already. So I start off by downloading Raspberry Pi OS onto an SD card. After it's done downloading, I inserted the SD card into my Raspberry Pi and connected it to an external monitor. Unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to get a screen recorder onto my Raspberry Pi, so I'm going to try my best to record the process I took. I'll also have a detailed step-by-step -step instructions in the description below. Then I downloaded the Raspberry Pi version of the Universal G-Code Sender. After I downloaded it, I placed it in its own folder then proceeded to extract it. So at this point I opened up the terminal and typed sudo apt get update. After that finished, I typed in sudo apt get dist upgrade. After that is done, I typed in sudo raspy config. I selected advanced options. Then gl driver. So this setting is determined based off of your external screen. In this case, I'm using a monitor, so I'll be selecting full KMS. Then after that, I restarted my Raspberry Pi. So to install Java, I opened up the terminal and typed in sudo apt get install open jdk 8 jdk. After Java installs, I went back to my Universal G-Code Sender folder and I opened up the start file by using the terminal. The first startup may take a while. If you're having problems, leave a question below. So at this point, I set up my monitor in my workshop and connected it to the Raspberry Pi. And now I open up the Universal G-Code Sender. Now I test the controls to make sure it works. My only complaint is, is that when I run a G-Code program, the visualizer window doesn't work. So if you have any solutions for that, leave it in the comments. Other than the visualizer not working, this seems to work extremely well. It definitely beats bringing up my laptop whenever I want to use my CNC router. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.